Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C39, Standard Test Method for Compressive Strength of Cylindrical Concrete Specimens, and ASTM C1231, Standard Practice for Use of Unbonded Caps in Determination of Compressive Strength of Hardened Cylindrical Concrete Specimens. Remove the specimen from moist storage, but keep it moist. Cylinder ends shall not depart from perpendicularity to the cylinder axis by more than 0.5 degrees. For an 8-inch cylinder, use a feeler gauge less than or equal to 2 millimeters and a square as shown. If the 2 millimeter gauge can pass between the cylinder and the square, the cylinder must be ground or capped. Check both ends of the cylinder. Also, check both ends of the cylinder for depressions greater than 0 0.20 inches. Next, measure two diameters at right angles to each other at about mid-height of the specimen. Verify that no diameters differ by more than 2%. Clean the upper and lower bearing blocks. Clean the ends of the test specimen as well as the bearing surfaces of the retainers. Insert the pads into the retainers. Place the specimen in the retainer and center it in the unbonded caps. Align the specimen with the center of thrust of the upper bearing block. Tilt the spherically seated block until it is parallel with the top of the specimen. Verify that the load indicator is set to zero. Apply up to 10% of the anticipated maximum load to the specimen. Verify that the cylinder is still centered within the retainers and that the axis of the cylinder does not depart from vertical by more than 0.5 degrees as shown. Apply the load continuously and without shock at a rate of 35 plus or minus 7 psi per second. Make no adjustment in the rate of movement during the latter half of the anticipated loading phase. Apply the load until the indicator shows that the load is decreasing and the specimen displays a well-defined fracture pattern. Report the maximum load. Note the type of fracture pattern. Report the compressive strength by dividing the maximum load by the cross-sectional area. Report compressive strength to the nearest 10 PSI. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.